Okay, can we start now? <laughs> hey guys and gals, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Sorry about that. I uh, had a few little issues. I had a few issues the last few days, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting it resolved. Uh, but hope you guys are doing well. Uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful, cheeky Thursday. Today we're going to do a bit of a quick dish today. So it's not actually going to be long unless you guys decide to make it a long stream, but I very much doubt it. Um, so we've got ourselves a salmon stir fry to do. Um, we're going to actually um, marinate the salmon uh, in some ginger, soy, um, sesame seed oil, lots of beautiful flavors in there. Uh, we're also going to add a honey as well to make it nice and sticky when we cook it down. Uh, and also, we're not going to do any rice. We're actually doing um, courgette or zucchini spaghetti as well. We're going to have carrots in there, some peppers, some onions, garlic, ginger, all those beautiful flavors. Um, and also, once we finish up as well, that basil from yesterday, I don't want it to go to waste. So I've actually found some little cheeky pine nuts. So uh, I'm going to make a little pesto, and then I can use that pesto for next week uh, for a dish so it doesn't go off. So uh, we're going to do that as well today, so uh, nothing too crazy. Let's uh, open up this bad boy. Also, we need to see if uh, these have been deboned and descaled. So I'll run my finger across it and have a look. If they haven't, we can do that. Not a problem. So also, if you want to avoid having a smelly bin, right, give these a little cheeky wash. It'll stop you uh, stinking out your bin in your house. So uh, whenever you get like fish packets or anything, I usually wash them and then throw them away. Saves you uh, any unpleasant smells in the house. All right, let's have a look. Is there? I mean, there's some scales on here, but it hasn't been descaled very well. So I'm gonna just kind of run this back over. Now, you want to kind of do this in the sink, but there's not a lot here, so it's not flicking everywhere. Hence why you can see on my knife those scales there. So I'm just going to get the excess off. There is a little bit left on there. It hasn't been prepped very well. So let me just finish it off. So super important. When you're cooking this, you don't want the uh, the scales on. It's not, not very pleasant. So I'm just going to take these off. Most of it, it has been descaled, but very poorly. So, there we go. Let's just finish this off then. So basically, when you're descaling, right, all you're doing is rubbing your knife against um, against the scales in the opposite direction. So they actually pull pull upwards and then they flick off. So that's pretty much what you do. You just run the blade of your knife going down and it'll take off any of the uh, excess uh, scales. So there we go. Make sure I don't get any of these scales in there. I'm just going to put this on the separate plate here. Teaspoon of sesame seed oil and about two tablespoons of soy. Right, I'm going to go for half a half a teaspoon with this. Not much. Just a little, just a little touch of that. And then I'm going to have about half a lime in there. And I think that's it. Lime zest as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the honey for the sweetness, of course. So. <laughs> So this will add the uh, stickiness. We might add a little touch more. I'm just going to add one tablespoon of honey. There we go. So this will add the stickiness when we cook it off. Right, I'm going to dice up the veggies. So that's marinating beautifully. Yeah, nice fresh one. There we go. Okay. So let's try again. So we got orange pepper. I would have liked a bit of red pepper, but, you know, these things happen. It's okay. And trim around the sides. Looks orange to me. Right, so we're going to slice this up. So I want to cut these down into nice little little strands. So, there we go. So, perfect. And make it easier, right? <clears throat> you just want to take some of the layers off. And then you can just slice them up really nice and thin. There we go. Alrighty, so so we got our onions, peppers, leeks, carrots. Uh, I do need my onion um, onions. I already got my onions there. Uh, garlic and ginger as well. Right, so we're gonna grate this up. Two garlic cloves. What we're gonna do is just kind of. Oh yeah, we're gonna cut these long ways. Why not? So it's gonna be a little bit tedious, but that's okay. I'd rather use these up and then let them go to waste. So what we want to do. So this is a little bit more of a longer method, but I want to make sure I use these up. 
But the best way to do it is having the uh, Japanese mandolin, like you've already seen before, <clears throat> when I cut them up. And um, we use the attachment, and they come out a lot thicker as well, because these are cut really thin. So they might actually break apart a little bit, so we'll see. I mean, not so, so, so great, but they're okay. It'll do. I'll eat the rest of the weekend. So I'm going to do another stir fry as well. And if I've got any leftover veggies, which I maybe might have, I can use that for Friday or no Saturday or Sunday because I can use um, do a chicken stir fry for me and the wife. So I'm not going to use all, obviously all of these, but there you go. It's our zucchini spaghetti. Cut by hand, a little tedious, but would have been a lot easier on my Japanese mandolin and done in like matter of matter of minutes. So um, that's okay. All right, let me do some washing up. Let's have a go. So. Anyways, get this onto a high heat. Let's get uh, a little bit of oil in there. <laughs> so, I'm going to add the veggies. So, a bit of carrots as well. I'm just going to have this pan on the lower heat with the salmon. I don't want it on as such hot because obviously I don't want to caramelize those sugars too, too much. I do at the end, but not at the start. Is this is this what you're doing? Right, so I don't want that super hard. I just want to kind of cook that through and then we're going to get that sticky sauce in there. So... Zucchini noodles, bean sprouts. Little touch of soy. Right, these are done. Okay, so what I'm going to do, turn this onto a low heat, just take this off a slight, slight second. So while it's finished cooking, That was the glaze I was looking for. There we go. So, just to kind of give it that beautiful little glaze. There we go. And I'm just finishing it off with a few little, little sesame seeds. But I do blame chat for... Uh, Punning me all the time. <laughs> Only joking, chat. Right. So, there we go. I forgot to put my, uh, a few little cheeky cashews in here as well. But you can toss them through with the veggies. So we did the sticky salmon stir fry. Uh, so, using lots of lovely veggies. So, for the base, garlic, ginger, um, <clears throat> onions, peppers, carrots, leeks. Um, also doing some zucchini or courgette spaghetti. Um, we also put a little bit of soy in there. Cashew nuts. Um, some sesame seeds. Um, and then obviously stir fried off. Obviously for the salmon, we marinated it in garlic and 
ginger. Um, gently cooked it down. First one, not so gently, but it's okay. It happens. Um, and then obviously taking it off the heat once you flipped it over, uh, finishing it off with that sticky sauce of the honey and the soy. Um, and then just finished it off with a little touch of lime. So, yeah, super happy. Take care, everyone. Happy Thor's Day. What do you mean, happy th oh, Thursday? Oh, goodness me. Kira, really? Uh, yeah, that dude is awesome. And uh, I ran into an old friend. Oh, fantastic. So thanks again for the raid and him show. Oh, you're most welcome. Anytime. Anytime. Um, but, yeah, guys guys and gals, have a great rest of your th Thor's Day. <laughs> Kappa. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for Friday for our three-year Twitch anniversary. Um... For our Swiss feed steak. But have a great rest of your Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. 10 a.m. Mountain Time, as always. Much love, guys and gals. Bye for now.